Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Trying to establish that jab. And they are exchanging leather early. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch! 
whip his hip into that kick. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he caught the kick. Let's go. Oh. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have his reach advantage like this. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. What a punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. All oh, right, then a left. He's trying to establish a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Straight punch lands. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Nice. Just missed with the left there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big body kick land. 30 seconds now to go in round one. It's okay, you're fine. Let's recompose. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Second round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good spin. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Just misses there with the left. Now 
Nice kick. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad hit. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Finish up. Finish up. Oh! oh! Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Effective strike there by Lee. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Right hook to the head block. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Nice body kick lands. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, Superman punches through. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Plus right hand is true. Beautiful kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Four, four. Ooh, what a punch. Hey. Just a slip there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh, nice counter jab there. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. He missed with that jab attempt there. Just misses with a left hook there. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Ten seconds to go. Nice defense there. Huge block. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course, 
next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's giving his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming this way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of... Whoa! Connection right there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. knockout here tonight near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Leving has called a stop for this contest at one minute one second of the third round going to win it by knockout Bruce the Dragon Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Yeah.